Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, I believe this is going to be my first uploaded video on this channel, so I'm going to basically go over a few things, and then I'm going to go straight into it with a commentary on speech and debate, actually. So yeah, a few things about, uh, like I guess myself on this channel. I am a uh, current, currently a sophomore at high school. I, um, oh, that's guy, that guy's already rushing. Um, I, yeah, I'm actually recording this the weekend after the first week of school. So, oh, you can't just do that. I'm not, I'm just gonna kill you. Okay, well, it's closer than I'd like, but I did kill him. So this channel, I'm mainly probably going to be uh, playing Minecraft, or like uploading Minecraft content on this channel, because I'm primarily a Minecraft gamer. I, oh, this guy's using ladders, wow. Um, come on, get the bed. I don't want to take fall damage. Get it. Yes. And then I do that, and then I do this. Oh, that was so close. He was at two. That would have been so cool. That's okay, though. Um, anyways, yeah. I'm prim primarily going to upload Minecraft content. Um, like commentaries, montages, other things. Although I may have also play other games sometimes if I feel like it. Um, this video is going to be actually part of a series uh, of commentaries. Uh, and in this uh, series... I'm going to basically be just doing commentaries while playing different games. Um, now, initially, these are probably going to be just Minecraft mini games like Bed Wars, Sky Wars, uh, Duels, 1.16, Combat Snapshot, etc. Right? Um, but occasionally, if I do this enough, I may even want to begin doing uh, doing other games. So we'll see. But for now, just Minecraft. Um, so, anyways, yeah, I think that you basically have all the information you need. So I'm just going to go straight into the commentary. Alright, so this commentary is about speech and debate. Now, uh, if you don't already know, speech and debate is kind of like a high school program thing that a lot of schools offer, including my school, uh, where basically you uh, are part of a team and uh, you go to competition. It's basically like sports, except it's not like as team-based most of the events aren't. Um, but yeah, like go to competitions, you'll do practices, and at competitions you'll basically just speak. You, or, yeah, you'll speak on something. Uh, you can choose many different events, um, and you can speak on things, and even debate. Um, so yeah, I joined that in uh, freshman year, actually. Technically, I also did it in uh, in middle school. However, uh, if you weren't aware, in 2020, I think, I don't even remember, uh, it was halfway through my 7th grade year is when coronavirus struck. So, um, and it continued through, like, 8th grade, so we didn't get speech and debate in 8th grade either. So that meant that basically I only got uh, a semester of speech and debate. Um, and even then, we only had one practice a week. And I can't remember why, but that season we were not allowed to go to competitions for some reason. So I got a really uh, unlucky uh, experience of speech and debate. I got only half a semester, or only half a year of it in high school, or in middle school. I couldn't go to competitions, and um, yeah, only one practice a week. Um, which, you know, it might seem good to have only one practice a week, um, but... Uh, I'm not a sports guy. I'm not a busy guy. And so I was just kind of I'm just kind of doing it um, Because I was hoping it would be something else that I can do, you know, keep me busier um, It didn't really keep me busier because obviously it was only one practice and I didn't really care about it uh, And there were no competitions or anything. So uh, let's See if I can awesome Whoa spooky fireball I'm so sorry my good sir, but this is going to be a little bit. Oh, no. See, my plan was to keep him alive and then kill him after breaking the bed. I can't really do that now because he comboed me, but I can still be annoying. Well, actually, I do want to die soon just to make sure nobody's at my base and going to murder me. So I didn't really get to do much speech and debate in middle school. Uh, but when high school came around, it was offered. Uh, and I didn't really want to do it because of my poor experience in middle school. Well, it wasn't really poor. It was just boring, I guess. Like, uninteresting. And so I didn't really want to do it when I went to high school. But my mom convinced me to because, again, I was still doing nothing by the point of high school. I'm not a very athletic guy. I don't really enjoy it. I did it in middle, in elementary school, but that was mainly just for, um, just because my friends were doing it. And I liked to do things with my friends. I didn't really want to do speech and debate because I didn't really have that many other friends doing speech and debate anyways. And uh, either way, I didn't really enjoy it too much in middle school. So I was like, no. And then my mom was like, yeah. And then I was like, okay, fine. So I joined it. So uh, first I'm going to break down the speech and debate events. So there are two main categories. I'd argue two and a half. But officially, there's two. There's speech and there's debate. Now, speech is where I, uh, you know, you go up to in front of a. Oh, did green just they did? Bam! Fireball! Yeah. Oh wow! Another, another? Oh no! He seems. Oh, oh no, that was a gapple. 
just like you have. Uh, oh, but anyway, speech is you get up and you speak in front of an audience. Um, now, obviously, there are platform events, which are events where you write your own speech and you will uh, convince, or well, not necessarily convince, you will speak it to the the judge. Um, but I'm just gonna quickly explain how the judging works. So uh, you speak to a judge, and there are usually six people or seven people or even eight people in a round, and you are ranked out of how well you did compared to them. So you'd get like a one, meaning you got first place, or a three, meaning you got third place. Lower numbers are obviously better. Uh, do you have a fireball for me? Oh, you do. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, that's how you rank it. So anyways, uh, there are platform events where you speak to the judge uh, of a speech that you made. So for example, there are events where you try to convince them of something, oratory, your classic argumentative essay one. There are informative ones where uh, you just kind of inform them of something that you think is kind of cool. Um, there are, uh, what other ones are there? I mean, there's a few others. Um, oh, <gasps> wow, okay, awesome. I'm glad I lived that. He, this is a very interesting man. E1. What does that mean? Okay, this guy's bed's gone. It's probably gonna be a win here. Yeah! GG's. So yeah, there's a platform events. There's also interpretation events. So those are, uh, you take a published piece and you kind of perform it. Uh, this is kind of like acting, but also not like acting, because it's usually only one person. You have to do a very specific style, I guess. And it's not, it's less about, like, drama and using props, and more about really getting into character, I feel like. Um, and it's really interesting. Uh, those are generally really fun to watch, except for some of them, because there are three main ones. There's dramatic interpretation, humorous interpretation, uh, well, actually four. Uh, dramatic, humorous, duo, and uh, program of oral interpretation. So dramatic is uh, dramatic, but it's generally just really sad. Like, it's just about, like, depression and rape and suicide and uh, all those topics. So it generally just leaves you really sad after you watch it. Um, but, I mean, hey, it feels cultured, I guess, I don't know, or, like, it feels like an expression of art, uh, you could say. Um, then there is humorous interpretation. Now, this is probably one of my favorites. It's mainly about comedy, and you get judged for, you know, how funny it is. So this is, this can be kind of subjective, because different judges will laugh at different things, but also, it's just really funny. Um, so yeah, that's one of my favorites. And then there is program of oral interpretation. So that's, like, a platform event, except not. That's, like, one of the events where uh, you try to convince them of something, or you try to inform them of something. So, can I? Okay, awesome! Uh, except you have to use, obviously, public work, or published work. So you'll usually be, like, pulling from articles and magazines on that one, and less, like, stories and books, because, I mean, articles and magazines will definitely have a lot more, like, evidence and, uh, actual information than, like, you know, a story of Bob, you know? A story of Bob wouldn't really be helpful when you're trying to argue that racism is rampant in our country. I didn't die... I'm going to. So yeah, those are the interpretation events. And then there is a subcategory of events that I'd like to call impromptu, or like a, I don't know, like a half category. Uh, and that is events that you don't really prepare anything for. You'll just kind of speak on something that, like a topic that's given to you, basically. So they can be given to you anytime from like 30 minutes before the round to literally during the round you'll get your topic. Um, this guy does not seem very experienced. I'm sorry, man. I'm really sorry. Oh, I'm really sorry. So yeah, impromptu events are uh, kind of like that, and there are some speech events that are impromptu and some debate events that are impromptu. The main events that we would do at our school, uh, there are a lot of debate events, um, but the main events that we do at our school are uh, Public Forum and Lincoln Douglas. Now, Lincoln Douglas is a solo debate about philosophy and morality, so that's like, hey, you know, is uh, going to space moral? Is uh, selling human organs moral, right? And then public forum is like news stuff, and it's a team event, a two-person event. So that's like, should Turkey go to war with Poland? But they're just kind of like more political and news-based things. When I first joined the team, right, way back at the beginning of the year, uh, I was an impromptu main, and that is because I think impromptu is a very easy event to get started with, because, I mean, it's impromptu. You don't have to, like, make a speech or memorize a speech. It's a very good event for you to see if you want to, like, do speech and debate. So anyways, I was an impromptu main. Um, and I still didn't really care for a speech and debate when I joined it at the beginning. Um, I was like, this is boring, uh, and then I learned that we, there were four practices a week, and, I, or sorry, three practices a week, and I was, uh, expected to attend as many of those as possible. And on top of my math team, now I was busier, um, than I was in middle school. And I was like, well, do I really have to do this? I really don't want to. Um, but I did it anyways. So I did that, and then I didn't really enjoy it all that much until the first competition, um, and the first competition, I had a ton of fun. And that is because I realized that there's more to speech and debate than just speaking. There's camaraderie. Now, you know, when you're on a sports team, right, um, kind of a huge part of it is, 
like that team aspect, you know, the the fact that it's not just you. Oh, the fact that it's not just you out there, and you're competing with a lot of people like on your side and there. You know, it it just feels a lot of team spirit, and it's really fun, right? Um, even I can admit that, even though I'm not a huge sports person, um, that it is really a lot of fun, and honestly, sometimes I miss it. Um, but yeah, and that is what I was missing because when I went to the first competition. Uh, it was a ton of fun because there were so many nice people there, right? Like, the, the captains of the team and all the people on the team, or the captain of the team and the people on the team, they're just so incredibly nice, and they're such great people. And it was just a ton of fun to just hang out with them for 12 hours straight and just, like, play card games and do stuff, right? It's it's really just a blast. And, um, hey, can I break this? Thanks. Can I win here? That'd be great. Oh, no. Oh, GG's. Let's go. See, I'm, I'm at a two for one ratio. I would say that's pretty good. I had a lot of fun that first tournament, and that's when I was like, yeah, I want to continue with this. Uh, I continue doing speech and debate for basically the rest of the year, obviously. Um, there are two kind of categories in speech and debate for skill level. Uh, each event has these two categories. Um, there's novice and there's open. Novice is like newcomers. Um, it's uh, Novice is really just kind of intro you to it. Uh, once you get two top three placements uh you get sent to open all right i don't i don't know if that's an official rule or if that's like something that our team did but it's something that we did anyways so uh we treated it like a rule oh no no oh crap i'm going to get this man's bed in revenge out of spite i'm going to avenge myself and i'm going to make the jump this time nice fireball bud do that oh crap Okay, I'll admit I'm a little salty about that one. I got particles. I, oh, I don't want to do that. I got particles. You can watch the footage. I got particles. That's not fair. So I did that, and um, I actually did pretty good at the beginning um, in Novice. I kind of did good. Uh, I got mainly twos, threes, and the occasional one. And eventually I got my two placements. And it was very uh, nice timing because my final round to qualify for open, um, I got a first place, which was very fun. And uh, it was the last uh, game before Christmas break. So I had to end off going to Christmas break knowing that I'm in open, and I did pretty good, and I was pretty happy with that. Also, I don't know if I explained this yet, but uh, speech and debate, the way like tournaments work is you'll have three rounds uh, in a tournament, and then if you do good in those three rounds, you can actually qualify for the fourth round, the final round. So uh, everybody's ranked on the three rounds, and the fourth round decides like the top six people. They'll usually uh, qualify six people. All right, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt you, but I'm going to be cutting this video in half because it's way too long. So I'm going to be uploading a part two, still playing a different game. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be uploading a part two of this commentary later because otherwise it'd be way too long. So yeah, um, that's going to be it for this video. You can look forward to more commentaries like this. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'll uh, see you in the next video, and it will be a part two of this, so we'll be continuing the story. We're leaving off at the end of semester one of speech and debate. So yes, farewell.